We have issued a first alert weather day for Thursday, and this is only really for the hill towns and getting up into parts of northern Franklin County, especially along and north of the Route 2 corridor. There is a concern for some patchy freezing drizzle or even a little light freezing rain tomorrow, especially in the afternoon and evening. We already have uh, winter weather advisories up for all of Franklin County, but again, mostly up around Route 2 and the hills of Hampshire and Hamden counties. So icy untreated surfaces are looking possible for sure, especially late tomorrow. There was a big concern for tomorrow morning, but that concern is looking less and less likely now as temperatures don't get cold enough quick enough for it to start getting icy. So download that Western Mass News weather app. It's a great tool, especially if you're running out the door and you're trying to get the latest forecast information. We post videos to that app that you can only get there, so you can check those out. Taking a look at your 24, we've got showers moving in tonight. Temperatures stay fairly steady. Eventually, the Berkshires will be dropping back into the 40s. They're in the 50s right now. I think we're going to hover in the low 40s much of the night. As we get closer to sunrise, colder air will start coming into uh, Berkshire County and Franklin County, and you'll start to see temperatures dropping into the 30s. But again, it doesn't drop below freezing quick enough to cause a big icing concern. There may be a few issues up this way, up around Warwick, getting up into the New Hampshire border, but I mean, it's going to be, you know, a very low risk. Now, here we are at 9 a.m. There's not much going on. We have overcast skies. We have fog again, an occasional drizzle, possibly a light shower. Temps will be maxing out in the morning and then will be dropping as the day goes on. You can see how orange is down to 35 at 2 p.m. and we keep going down to 33 by 6 p.m. At this point, now we're starting to see some patchy freezing rain and patchy freezing drizzle in the hills. Lower Valley is going to be cold and wet, but likely not icy. And this is something that will continue out through Thursday night. Colder air will eventually get rid of the icing concern, and then we may actually see a few flurries around by Friday. So temperatures will be dropping throughout the day tomorrow. It'll get colder as the day goes on. We hit our high in the morning. It's still that northeast flow through Friday, but then Saturday we shift to a northwesterly flow. That will finally start drying things out. The storm system finally starts pushing away on Friday evening. We'll have a couple of rain and snow showers to end the week, but it's not looking like a big deal. Saturday, some clouds, but dry. And then Sunday, we'll get some sunshine. Next chance for any wet weather will actually be wintry in nature. For Monday morning, there's a threat for a couple of snow showers with a passing coastal low. It looks very minor, though, and shouldn't cause too many, if any, headaches for the morning commute. But it may be something you want to check up on over the weekend. So going to the 10-day forecast, we have these cloudy, dreary, awful conditions through Friday. Saturday, some brightness, especially on Sunday, we get that sunshine back. Monday morning, some showers, some snow showers, and then we'll see some partial clearing. Looks dry for Tuesday. Wednesday and Thursday, a bit of a question mark. There's a system to our north and a system to our south. If they can come together, we could get a, a coastal low that develops, but right now it doesn't look likely. By the end of the week, turning sharply colder. Chris and Mary.